you will lead a small unit to monitor the separatists and determine what their purpose is. Due to the clandestine nature of this mission and our thinly stretched resources, we cannot offer you a clone squadron for support. The Jedi have trained our whole lives for missions like this. We will make do. Plo Koon and Mace Windu during the war, Windu mainly remained stationed on Coruscant. However, he sometimes left the planet to perform special missions. Even in the early days of the Clone Wars, the High Council saw its situation as dire. With the Separatist army establishing multiple footholds throughout the Outer Rim, Windu was concerned that it would only be a matter of time before they moved inward, annexing more star systems before ultimately reaching the galactic capital of Coruscant. Seeking to ascertain the purpose of the Separatist presence on the planet Hisrich, the Council assigned the task to Windu. However, because of the mission's covert purpose and the Republic's thinly spread resources, they were unable to provide him with a squadron of clone troopers. Windu therefore assembled a covert team of Jedi, consisting of himself along with Kit Fisto, for his skill with a lightsaber, Prosit Dibs, for his valuable insight and natural strong intuition with the Force, and Rissa Mano, for her engineering skills and aptitude for battle. After the council meeting, Yoda sensed Windu's troubles and asked if he could help. Windu explained how he felt doubt after the death of so many Jedi on Geonosis. Yoda then reassured him that the Force will always lead them down the correct path. The Grand Master told Windu that he must not give in to these thoughts. Before departing, Windu promised that he would not fail him. In transit, Rissa told Windu that her ship was heavily modified for stealth and speed, to which Windu was thankful. Fisto remarked that he would be looking forward to working on this mission, but Prosit cynically replied that war was no place for a Jedi. To this, Mace said that they were knights and this was exactly what they were supposed to be doing. After this, Windu notified the team of the undocumented nature of the planet and told them to be wary of fauna as well as battle droids. Mace also told them of the planet's near constant darkness and how it would help them in the covert cause. When the alarm for exiting hyperspace sounded, Windu ordered them to change into their mission attire to help regulate body temperature. Windu ordered them to use the plants as cover as they headed towards the nearest droid outpost. Dibs apologized for his previous outburst on the ship and explained it for his foresight of the teachings of their order being tested. Windu replied by saying sometimes combat is necessary and that war can breed confusion. They soon encountered a small patrol group of a few B-1 battle droids and an Octopara droid. They quickly destroyed the patrol, but were soon surrounded by the indigenous people on all sides. Unknown to the strike team, a droid officer spotted the skirmish and reported it to ADW-4, a mercenary droid hired by General Grievous to oversee the separatist occupation of Hisrich. After encountering members of Hisrich's indigenous population, Windu and Fisto followed them into a system of caverns and although they could not speak the aliens' language, Windu sensed that they were not hostile to the Jedi. The aliens led Windu and his team to their subterranean dwellings, at which point the Separatists attacked the Jedi after tracking their position to the alien settlement. Windu ordered the other Jedi to protect the civilians while he fended off a group of droidikas and single trooper aerial platforms. After dispatching the droids, he was confronted by ADW-4, who engaged the Jedi Master in single combat. As they fought, both combatants criticized their opponent's motivations. Windu regarded the droid's greed as a sign of depravity, whereas ADW-4 viewed the Jedi's beliefs, in particular, their commitment to peace, as asinine. During the fighting, the Jedi realized that the droids were mining the planet for its energy resources, the amount of which could turn the war in the Separatists' favor. Ultimately, a cave-in separated the team in half, with Windu and Mano on the surface, while Fisto and Dibs were trapped below. Together, Windu and Mano defeated the droids on the surface and succeeded in destroying one of the Separatist harvesters. Afterward, they returned to their ship to regroup with Fisto and Dibs. At that point, Windu had determined that it would not be possible for his team to put an end to the Separatist operation one skirmish at a time, and therefore desired to locate the enemy's command center in order to bring the conflict on Hisrich to a swift and decisive conclusion.